Hey everybody, what's going on? It is Jeremy from Jets Chaos, and I am here in Mobile, Alabama, in a back room, because everybody is live right now um, in this house. It's absolutely nuts. So here I am, sitting in the back room, but I needed to get this out. You know, while I'm here, I haven't been able to do my show. I've been collecting tons and tons of information, though, learning so much, learning about these players, getting to speak to Coach Ulbrich. Um, It's been absolutely fantastic, but... While I'm here and doing this, I know there's this craziness going around, right? 30 sources have now confirmed what Greenbean, what Ryan, what Matt O'Leary, what Jets Talk, what Jets Chaos already knew. We've been talking about this for how long? We knew it was broken. We knew there were these issues. We talked about these issues over and over again. It's not a secret. Maybe they released some things and said some things, but you know, um, that we haven't talked about. But you know what? We don't even know which, of, what of that is speculation and what of that is real. Remember, if you're some guy pushing paper and working in the mailroom at Jets One Drive, you're a source in the building. But your opinion or your interpretation of what's going on is no better than anyone else that's working outside the building. So can we please take a chill pill? With all this going around, I got people on Twitter, people on Facebook, screaming and yelling how broken everything is and how what a disaster it is. And now Robert Sala's got to be fired and everything has to be redone. It is nonsense. Shut up. Shut up. It's enough already. It is time to move on. Our coaching staff is coming back. It's time to move on. It is time to support our coaching staff. It is time to support Robert Sala. You might not believe in him. You might have concerns about him. You know I have concerns about him. You know there are some things I don't like. Some things about the whole coaching staff that I don't like. But I'm a Jets fan. And the reality is things aren't that bad. They're really not. I know we're in big trouble in two years. There's no question about that. But for the next two years, if Aaron Rodgers stays healthy and plays, remember, he doesn't have to be MVP Aaron Rodgers. Anytime this team in the last three years has gotten decent quarterback play, we have won with the exception of the Kansas City game, which which the refs stole from us. We have won football games. We have dominated teams. We crushed Houston. What happened against Houston? We had an offensive line that actually played its best game of the year, and we had a quarterback who played well. That's all we need. So guess what? We have an offseason with some cap space that we're going to clear. We have some draft capital. We're going to get our offensive line healthy. Now, we can't stop future injuries. There's nothing you could do about that. That's what being a fan is. It's having faith. It's hoping. It's hoping that we get lucky. Yeah, there's luck involved. Hopefully our offensive line won't get hurt. Hopefully we can run back the offensive line week after week. But Aaron Rodgers just has to be 70% of his prime of what he was. He just has to be a competent, middle-of-the-league quarterback. And with a good offensive line, when you talk about Brees Hall, Conklin, Garrett Wilson, and the weapon that we will add, just wait till the offseason starts. Just wait before you start jumping out the window. The worst has happened when Aaron Rodgers went down, when Zach clearly was still just Zach and just teased us. That was the worst. The worst. We're out of that. Put it behind you. It's a fresh season that's about to start. A fresh off season. We have one of the elite defenses in the NFL. We really do. And if you argue that or dispute that, I would say take a class and learn about football because you certainly don't know about football. We are not as far away as you think. If we improve that offensive line and just become average and Aaron Rodgers stays healthy and that offensive line stays healthy, Brees Hall's going to go absolutely berserk on the NFL and this team is going to win a lot of games and we could shut all this nonsense up. And if you don't like that, well, I don't know what to tell you. You don't like me. Take care, everybody. Go Jets.